So today we'll be talking 30s. Welcome. So my name is Chimela and I'm based in Patakot. So today I want to be talking about things you should have already known when you are 30 years old or you have already reached 30 years old. As a 30 year old person, there are certain things you should already know or you should already you know know by experience or by the experience of others or just by the fact that you have seen some things in life and you know you have learned some lessons from your own experiences so today i'm going to be talking about those things the ones you know the ones i know the ones i don't know and i had to research on them we are going to be talking about them today in this video so if you're 30 year old or you're about to hit 30 or you just want to watch and educate yourself then please keep on watching kindly hit the subscribe button and also click the like button and also share these videos with your friends so as a 30 year old or as a 30 something year old i've seen it's not like i've seen life like that shall but i've seen some things in life you know some things have taught me some lessons some things i've done and some things i've seen some other people do i've learned from them i've had um you know experiences good and bad so at this 30 something year old you know it's time to evaluate your life it's time to you know life. this is the time to arrange your life you know this is time to put things in order to live a better life when you're older you know most things that happen that affect us when we are older are things that we did in our 30s so i believe this is time to reevaluate your life reevaluate your relationships reevaluate your career reevaluate your self-development and so many other things so today i want to be talking about a few things you should have already known or you should know as a 30 something year old as someone in their 30s so i'm going to start with the first one which is so before i start i want to remind you i know i've said it before please kindly click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends and also click the like button don't forget so let's move on to the first one the first one i'm going to be telling you is tackle low confidence now i know i know i know i know i know let me tell you something low confidence i know you already know this but i'll say it low confidence is something that is going to hinder you it's going to limit you it's going to you know tampen your zeal to be to do more with your life so it's best to start tackling low confidence by this time because the truth is you have so much to do with your life but with that low confidence eh, that low self-esteem that shyness that timidness is going to bring your you know expectations of yourself low it's going to make you when you think of things you want to do you'll be like ah uh, no you just be sidelining things or pushing things away things you're supposed to do be pushing them away with silly and silly excuses so start tackling low confidence now the next one i'm going to be talking about is be more expressive it also relates to the first one so if you're the kind of person that you know um you have thoughts but you always put them in your head you don't say anything maybe you feel like okay they're going to judge me yes they're going to judge you but this is the time to start owning your own opinion you know own your own opinion people will judge you there's nothing you won't do that they won't judge you so start getting used to the fact that people will judge you because if you don't get used to that fact you're going to always be in your shell you're going to always be in your shell that is what i have understood that is what i have learned that's what i have seen with life if you are not used to people judging you or you don't want to grow a thick skin you're going to always be in your shell so start being more expressive with yourself and start doing your thing express your opinion express your ideas it is a topic on ground give your own ideas give your own opinion share what you think about such discussion or conversation the next one is pick your battles pick your battles it's not everything that happens or every quarrel that comes that you put your mouth inside that you chuck your mouth inside it's not everything that happens or anybody that comes and you know gives you gas bulls you not give the person gas bulls back you know that kind of thing so pick your battles i know people say things like oh if you give me negative energy if you give me negative vibes i'm going to give you negative vibes back no not every negative vibe deserve a response sometimes minus yourself from the situation dead the person dead the whole situation you know dead it and move on with your life look for better things to do invest your time in better things things that are going to benefit you just end the whole situation by yourself minus yourself from the whole situation so don't go back giving every negative um vibe or any negative vibe that comes so we don't go back and give response to that okay so the next one is health and wellness so 
for the ladies, most of us, we are in our 30s. That's when we're still, you know, having children. Some of us already are done with having kids. Some of us are still in the process of having kids. So our bodies are, you know, doing... Our bodies are doing, you know... <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about? So this is the time to take health and fitness seriously. It doesn't mean you have to start going to the gym 247 because I know most times we don't even have the time to go to the gym, seriously speaking, truly speaking. I for one was thinking that once my kids start school, I'm going to start hitting the gym every morning. But really, I haven't gone to the gym one day since I started school. Because I have other things to do. I have other things to do. I have other issues to, you know, focus on. So the little time they go to school is just the time I have to do stuff and without distraction. So I don't really get to go to the gym, you know, but I'll try. But anyway, get your fitness in check, eat healthy, this is the time to, you know, reduce your junk and, you know, nobody said you shouldn't eat junk, you know, junk is sweet sometimes, but step it down, step it down a bit, okay? Reduce your intake of junk, take care of yourself as much as possible, get enough sleep as much as possible, reduce the stress you put on your body, take care of your skin, you know, take care of yourself generally. This is the time to start that if it's not something you've been doing before this is the time to start this is a wake-up call for you take it so we're going to be talking finances hey money 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 okay so your finances this is the time to put a check on your finances if you're not the type that have been saving this is the time to inculcate saving into your daily life this is the time to evaluate your spending, how much you spend on food, how much you spend on utility, how much you spend on entertainment, how much you spend on your family and friends. This is the time to evaluate such. This is the time to know your finances, know your finances in and out, manage your finances, try and stop going into debt. It's not healthy, especially for a Nigerian. So try as much as possible to, you know, put a check on your finances know what's going on with your money know how you're spending your money don't be the kind of person that will wake up and be like oh i had 50k today ah where did the money go to ah what happened to the money no 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 that is not a good enough way to live your financial life so start looking into that seriously seriously because money is important if nobody has told you me i'm telling you now money is important very very important Let's move to the next one, which is communicate with loved ones. If you're the kind of person that will stay months without talking to your mom, without talking to your dad, without talking to your siblings, this is the time to look into that. Communicate with your loved ones, communicate with your family, communicate with your friends if you have them. We are not going to be on this earth forever. They are not going to be in our lives forever. We are not going to be in their lives forever so this is the time to communicate with loved ones why they are still on earth with us and why we are still on earth with them tell them you love them tell them you miss them not when something happens you start saying oh i miss you i wish you were here all that strong stuff no do it now that they are alive send gifts send gifts you don't have to be expensive you can stay wherever you are in your location and order pizza for a friend order pizza for a family member order something for your mom we have delivery guys now everywhere that can do delivery for you so but this is the time to you know show your loved ones that they are really loved show them that they are really loved ones get what i mean so the next is reevaluate your relationship now i know most of us by this time mm, in our 30s we are in relationships either we are dating or we are married or you know we're having fiance serious relationship and stuff like that well sometimes because of your age and um everything you feel like you need to be or you feel like you're stuck in a, in a bad relationship i'm talking about bad relationships now or toxic relationships if or abusive relationships whatever it is you feel like you're stuck maybe because you're in your 30s you feel like oh, everyone has settled down or if if i if anything happens they're gonna laugh at me or like my life is going to be over or ah, i'm already past my 20s i've passed my dating age and whatever and whatever stuff that comes to your mind but i don't know 30s is going to be a long time to stay with a bad partner it's going to be a long time to stay with a bad relationship or a relationship that is not serving you that is a long time to do for life with someone that is not serving you whether you're a man or a woman so your 30s this is the time to evaluate your relationship 
if you're in a marriage that is not working, this is time to start reevaluating. Talk to the person, seek, seek counsel, seek whatever to help yourself to get out of that bad situation. Um, if you're in a relationship, this is time to reevaluate re that relationship. If it's something that's going to lead to marriage, because you cannot be in a bad marriage for a long time, it's going to affect so many areas of your life. Not only your marriage, it's going to affect your productivity. It's going to affect how you even take care of your kids. So this is the time to uh, reevaluate your relationship. I forgot to mention this one consider investments now i know i know i'm not talking about all those investments of you know put uh, uh, 50 000 naira and 24 hours you're going to get double of your money and stuff like that no those are not investment those are just would i say unnecessary risk mm -hmm. they are unnecessary risk unnecessary financial risk they are not investment so this is the time to seek reliable investments real investments do your research find out where you can invest your money find out things you can do find out businesses you can start find out how you can you, you don't need to start a business but find out how you can in, invest the money you have to get you more money basically sometimes your finances are not enough for the kind of life you're looking to live for yourself so in, if you have some money invest that money to get you more money but before you invest drag your ear now let me talk to you before you invest drag your ear and listen to me drag it drag it drag it drag it drag it drag it very well make sure you do your research on the kind of investment you're going to do make sure you run your research a thorough research on the investment you're going to do um don't go doing a, a a don't go falling into an investment scheme because a celebrity or somebody endorsed it do your own research do your own findings and ensure that that thing is authentic and ensure that the business model or the investment model makes sense anything that doesn't make sense then i don't think you should Put your money into it except you have plenty money shot to throw away <laughs> and if you do please throw them my way now let's talk career some of us are into businesses already some of us are into you know no regular day jobs some of us are doing one thing or the other whatever it is you're doing this is the time to reevaluate your career is your career sustainable for you is this sustainable to take care of your family is this sustainable for the responsibilities you have at hand now nobody's saying you have to do only one thing to have a source of income you can be doing your day job and you can have a side job on the side so the onus lies on you now to look for something that is going to complement what you already have now look for something that you can manage with your existing career or your existing job don't look for a business that you can't manage and at the end of the day you put your money there and your money doesn't come out and the person you put in charge mismanages your business you know look for a business you can do or you can handle while managing what you already have in existence if you're in a day job and it's not saving you and you know it takes your time and it's not saving you look for a way this is the time to look for a way to get something else to do because when you're in your 40s in your 50s you're you're a lot older and you don't have that kind of physical strength again you know to run around you don't have that kind of physical strength as much as you have in your 30s and in your 40s you still have you have much more responsibilities by then your children are maybe going to secondary school or they are you know heading to the university and stuff like that you have so much more responsibilities then than now that you're, you're in your 30s so it is time to reevaluate your career and see how you can turn things around for yourself and for your family so last but not the least is create a bucket list a bucket list is just um, a list of things you would love to do before you leave the earth you know maybe it could be things like places you'd love to visit before you exit this earth you know experiences you would want to have before you exit this earth you know food you love to eat places you'd love to go to you know stuff like that so it could be anything in fact just things you want to do before you leave the earth so create a bucket list and the truth is I feel like creating a bucket list will help you when it comes to achieving your goal for example if you put things like places you should want to visit i think that is like a ginger or that's like a motivation to you know work harder you know work harder so that you'll be able to afford traveling so that's what i feel having a bucket list is like a motivation you know it's like uh, something that pushes you like oh i have this place in my bucket list i want to go to this place and you know walk towards it you you know push yourself to work and be able to afford traveling i mean who doesn't want to travel not me so i'm going to train one last one take your entertainment seriously now i know sometimes you're like oh i don't want to spend money going to this place i don't want to spend money blah, blah, blah. but please when you're you know making your budget for the month you know um placing your spendings for the month include entertainment into your spending entertainment could be something as small as going to see a movie it could be something as going to sit in a fast food to eat. It could be something as small as going swimming with the kids. Especially if you're a family person, I feel like you should, you know, 
have fun with your family and again let me not forget take pictures take pictures because when you're older mm -hmm, when you're older you want to look at yourself and say oh my god who is this pretty who is this handsome somebody so take pictures while you're at it even if you're not going for entertainment take pictures thank god for smartphones these days everybody can document their life don't go and be that person that when you're 80 years old and they tell you you're 25 year old picture you're like oh, the 20 year old picture I have. please take pictures take pictures of yourself save them take pictures of your family save them you're going to look at those pictures some days and be like oh my god is this what i look like oh my god i miss even with your pot belly now you'll be like oh my god i miss my pot belly it was looking so cute then <laughs> so please take pictures take pictures make videos of yourself have fun you, know, you don't have to spend so much money to have fun but take entertainment seriously and, and you know invite entertainment into your life put it into your activity for the month put it into your budget as i said you need to budget budgeting doesn't mean only spending money on food and electricity bills and stuff like that entertainment should be in your budget take yourself out go see a movie go swim go sit at a restaurant and just eat chicken and rice or unkobi okay so take your entertainment seriously guys please so on this note i'm gonna end this video and i hope you learned one or two i hope i opened your eyes to a few things or so many things you need to be aware of or you need to be doing when you are 30s when you're in your 30s you know even in your 20s you can you know put in some of these things if you're in your 20s or in your 40s it's not restricted to somebody in his or her 30s so on this note i'll plead with you to subscribe to my channel and Give this video a thumbs up because i know you enjoyed this video hmm don't laugh i know you enjoyed this video so give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends share it with your family you know and also if there's something else again you think we should be doing in our 30s please i want to know i want to improve on my life please tell me in the comment section please tell me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and i wish you the best life has to offer bye